Hello fellow shadows, welcome to another video, and in the, my, in the last video that I uploaded on this channel, I was telling you guys how the stuff that I, my, uh, that I wasn't so pleased about in The Rise of Skywalker. So in this video, I want to talk about what I have enjoyed in The Rise of Skywalker. So, first off. Lando, Leia, Luke, all the like original trilogy characters that was in Rise of Skywalker, I feel like they respected the characters, especially Luke Skywalker, because the reason why I'm highlighting Luke Skywalker is because in The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker was a grumpy old man, and that wasn't exactly the Luke that we all knew. Even Mark Hamill said that that person, Luke Skywalker, was Jake Skywalker. And I always said, I didn't exactly mind the Grubby old Luke as much as some fans did. Because we had one more movie where we could see uh, the Luke we knew come back. And we saw the Luke we knew come back towards the end of The Last Jedi. But unfortunately, he, he died. Uh, the character, and I was pissed on how the character died, because it was like the lamest way possible for any for Luke Skywalker to die. But we saw a glimpse of the old Luke Skywalker come back after Yoda gave him a hard time. This movie, I, I could see that this version of Luke Skywalker, like in the rest of Skywalker, was kind of like the Luke Skywalker that we got introduced to in like A New Hope. That we got to see the end of his story arc in Return of the Jedi. I see that Luke Skywalker coming back in this movie. Which I was excited about. Like when Rey threw his lightsaber. Or his father's lightsaber into the TIE fighter. The first ghost Luke caught it. And he said that's no way to treat a lightsaber. A lightsaber should be treated with more respect. I was saying in my head. Please have Rey say will you did it when we first met, when I first gave you it, and I was hoping Luke would say, yeah, I was wrong in doing so. And then, whatever more dialogue, like, and then continue on with the dialogue we got in that scenario, in that scene, with Force Ghost Luke and Rey. That was awesome. To see, uh, the, pretty much so it was awesome to see the old Luke that we knew come back. And, yeah, like, I know some people disagree with me on this one, but I like, like, I feel like they treated Leia with respect as well. Uh, yeah, her, the way she went out, she, it could have been, uh, better, but I did, and by the way the character went out, I thought that was, a res like, a good way to honor the character, and... The actors who had played her, who was unfortunately passed. I liked that Han Solo appeared, you know, I'm still confused how he is there. Like, it has to be some manifestation of the Force. He can't be a Force ghost because Han Solo, it was already established that Han Solo is not a Force user. So I'm, it leaves, like, how did Han Solo come? Like, was it the Force trying to convince Kylo Ren they're still good in him? That he needs to come back to the light side? That it's time for Ben Solo to emerge and kind of defeat Kylo Ren so Ben Solo can help Rey fight her grandfather? Which is the Emperor? Which is like the ultimate Sith of the whole universe, in my opinion? I don't know. I don't know. And then... Going back to Luke, actually no, oh, before I get back to Luke, I liked how Poe, Finn, and Rey, we got to see them on screen in multiple scenes of the movie. Because in The Force Awakens, we saw Poe and Finn together, and then we saw Finn and Rey together. Well, oh well, yeah, in that order. But we never seen Poe, Finn, and Rey together in one shot. I got to see that. In this movie. And I thought that was awesome. I do kind of like the whole. 
tricking the audience into thinking that Chewbacca died. I kind of do like that effect. Because Chewbacca didn't die, he survived. But I like that shock factor, like, Holy shit, did he really kill her? Even though him. And then find out he was alive this entire time. I mean, I kind of knew he was going to, uh, uh, survive, like, a gut instinct in me. But, yeah. And then, but, long story short, I do like how they made, uh, Rey, uh, Finn, and Poe in the same shot in multiple scenes together. I thought that was really cool. Uh, I know I kind of criticized this whole entire scene, but seeing uh, in the, my uh, last video, but I really do like how they had Tatooine in this trilogy. Like, the first two, eps uh, the last Jedi, Force Awakens, did not have Tatooine at all in the Disney Star Wars. This one had it, and it had the Lars Homestead. I liked it. Temporarily taking out the dialogue. Temporarily. I do enjoy that scene. If you take away the dialogue. Guys, I think the dialogue is what brings me to not like that scene so much in terms of... And and I feel like the dialogue make, weakens that scene a bit. But that is still... Uh, but I'm so mad that she's going with Skywalker. You know, she's a Palpatine. And they finally told us, like, gave us an answer on what Ray's like heritage is. I personally don't like her heritage. I think she should have been a Skywalker. That way, the ending of the movie could have been better presented, pretty much. That way, she won't. It won't appear that she's just stealing another name and be a hypocrite to her own words that she said earlier. But I am happy that we finally get an answer, regardless if I personally like it or not, about who Ray is in terms of what is her last name. Because for years, like for the past few years, it's been is Ray a Skywalker, a Kenobi, or is Palpatine? My, I, I was hoping more for Skywalker than Kenobi and Palpatine, but, uh, and, uh, we got, when Rey was down, after, uh, Darth Sidious pushed Kylo Ren off the, uh, Death Star thing, that's in the center, oh, Ben Solo now, I like the part where we heard all of the Jedi that came before Rey, calling to her, practically lending her their strength, even though they're not in the living, they're one of the force. I like that scene. That was... I mean, I like that little part of that scene. It was really cool. And seeing Lando Calrissian back in the Millennium Falcon, Billy D. Williams! version of Lando Calrissian back in the Millennium Falcon. That was awesome. And the final battle when all the Rebel ships came, I can admit, that was pretty cool. Uh, the Emperor was OP as heck. I forgot to mention that in my uh, review when I was criticizing the movie. But yeah, the Emperor was OP as heck in here. He wasn't OP in the original six movies. I don't know why J.J. Abrams say make the Emperor OP in here, but, you know. But the thing I was going to say about Luke Skywalker, they had Yo Luke pull a Yoda, which was awesome, had it where he lifted the X-Wing from the water of Ock 2. Mm, that was awesome. That was a wonderful homage to Empire Strikes Back. I felt like that was was like the most perfect way to show that Luke has grown as a character. And in my head, you know, this is most likely not true. I'm trying to justify this little part in my head. 
But in my head, I was saying, that's why they didn't have Luke do that in The Last Jedi. So they can put it in here. So they can have this part be so powerful in this movie, not in The Last Jedi. You know, they could have used it in The Last Jedi, but you know. But regardless if that's true or not, that's what I'm trying to tell myself. And it still works! It, it works, and I love it. That scene, even though Luke Skywalker was a, is, has been a force ghost of this entire movie, I like it. And I do enjoy, you know, some people, like this part kind of gets mixed feelings. I do like the flashback where they showed Luke training Leia in the ways of the force. So that, or in the ways of the Jedi. So at least we all know that Luke and, well, Luke has, like, Leia has some Jedi training. So if they have any... So if Disney makes any, uh, games or books in the future that has Leia, uh, in it, like, where she's shooting a lightsaber, at least we are shown in the movies, even though I don't know how much they would need it at, for the story, to, uh, for us to physically see. But for Leia having her own lightsaber, I mean, she w was like a Jedi in the uh, Legends. And she, now that is, we've seen her being a, having Jedi training here. I like that. I like that. Hopefully they don't screw it up, but I do like that. Uh... What else? I said that uh, Leia's death in here was, I felt like it was respectful for both the character and the actress. Uh, the uses of Leia wasn't bad. I was honestly worried how much they would use Leia in this movie. And they didn't, at least in my opinion. And I respect you guys if you have any opinions that differs from mine. But I feel like Leia, they didn't overuse Leia. She was used appropriately. In the way she was used, I feel like she was done appropriately. I don't know whether or not if I was, would still say I would have liked to see a CGI Leia. Or, because I know if I saw someone else playing Leia in the type of way they presented Leia in here, I wouldn't like it as much. So, I think they... Essentially made the right call with their uses of Leia in this movie. Uh, Ray, Ray. Speaking of lightsabers, she gets her own lightsaber. Finally. So then, when I'm actually getting the lightsaber right now, they can stop calling this Ray's lightsaber because this is technically Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber that was passed down to Luke from Obi Wan. I call this the Skywalker saber. It's not Ray. It's technically not Luke's, but it was like Luke. Technically, yeah, he Luke owned it for like two movies about. But this is technically Anakin's because he made it and he would the most during like the Clone Wars. And that bit before the Clone Wars. But still, this is cool. I I really like how Ray actually wields her own lightsaber now. I love it. And I feel like it's about time. And I'm happy. Even though we don't really see Rey using it. We see her activating it towards like the very end. Practically. And her crystal's like, some say orange, some say yellow. I can't really tell what color it is. But it's between those two. And I think it's yellow. But I'm happy that she got her own lightsaber. And typically yellow lightsabers were like the... When you see the blade, when you see this part, in real life my hand will be broken, but if you see this part, uh, the blade will be, yeah, like, uh, the, for the yellow blades, usually in Sacrifice here, you sent, uh, chose to be a Jedi Sentinel, and you usually see Jedi guards wielding, like, yellow bladed lightsabers. If you don't believe me, just check, and you'll see. But yeah, I'm... 
I'm grateful that Ray finally has her own lightsaber so they can stop miss calling this lightsaber Ray's lightsaber when it's really Anakin's. Either call this Anakin's lightsaber or call this the Skywalker lightsaber. But stop calling this Ray's lightsaber. Especially since she's not pop uh, especially since she's not a freaking Skywalker. And I mean I what else? Cause I feel like Rose Tico. Rose Tico, I feel like she got better treatment in here than in the in the Last Jedi, and I surely mean that. And she was introduced in the Last Jedi. So yeah, that's my. Uh, I like her better in the uh, Rise of Skywalker. But that's my review. What's your guys' review? Leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys next week. Uh, not next week. But next time. And what are your guys, like, as I moved over here? But what are your guys? What did you guys love about The Rise of Skywalker? Leave a comment down below. May the force be with you.